This is real. It's hot. The ground has turned into moon dust. I told Riley we were gonna laugh about this someday. <laughs> We're Riley and Courtney Casey. Frustrated by the nine to five, we set out to make a living making things. Through your incredible support, we've been able to bring you along for the ride, and we can't wait to share our next chapter with you. Say hello to 20 acres of raw, off-grid land in Northern Idaho. Another day of scooping dirt, got a system down, going pretty smooth now. Our shop pad is, is coming down in the back corner, and we're really getting this built up now. We're going to end up with a lot of flat, usable area. That's going to be awesome. The excavation's going a lot faster with how we have it set up now with the dump truck down below and the excavator up high. It means that Courtney doesn't have to lift the bucket up nearly as high and while backing in is more difficult for me to maneuver the truck it also makes it so she doesn't have to lift the bucket up and over the truck's cab the bed has kind of a non-stick coating in the center and it's really making the dirt build up so about every 10 loads i need to hop in there with a shovel and clear it out It took every ounce of restraint I had to not throw a big shovel load right on top of Courtney. How do I get down from here? Sock full of dirt. We have moved a lot of dirt out of here. So not only are we trying to get down to finished grade, we're also trying to get rid of all the organic roots material that's left behind in the top layers of soil. So Courtney's just been digging, 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 and we're, we're making progress. Do you want to open your present? A present. Your present. I googled it and your two year anniversary, it's our two year anniversary. Congrats on being married for two years. Is cotton. Yes. <laughs> but how did you know? I googled it too. Okay. Wait, you got me something? Here's your present. What'd you get me? <laughs> Are you serious? Reckless Riley, get her done, Casey. My own custom shirt with a big dump truck on it. <laughs> <laughs> dump it a load. Don't say that. Thank you, Courtney. You're welcome. It is 108 today. It is hot and dusty. And hot. <laughs> and hotter. The poor dogs. We are going to go swimming down at the lake, hopefully, but. We're gonna try cooling off a different way. <laughs> this is a cordless pressure washer.
It's supposed to be for cooling us off. She went straight to cleaning. I can clean everything now. One of the cool things about these pressure washers is they use very little water. So I think it's gonna be great for cleaning the excavator and getting all the grease out of it. Today was the first day, a very long time, that we made the conscious decision to not work. Well, we worked on our computers in the camper with the air conditioner on. It was 108 today. Now, like 100 degrees, we can do. 108, something about that last eight degrees. We're barbecuing some food, and we're gonna shoot some bugs. Fire on the grill! Woo! We have a very rough grade cut in now, but I think we have a better idea of where the shop's gonna go and we're gonna measure it out and figure out exactly what size the building is gonna be. And hopefully we can fit a 40 by 60 shop. But we'll see. Time to find out. You hate to move stuff twice, but sometimes that's how it goes. We've got a big stack of boulders here and then down in here there's a bunch of just like roots and stuff that we pushed out of the way when we were clearing earlier and so I'm gonna work on getting all this cleaned up and out of here. This is real. It's hot. <laughs> I counted. I have about 30 bug bites. The ground has turned into moon dust. Look, come here. So I'm in on my feet. This is the ground. It's fluffy moon dust. I can't wear real shoes because I have the most painful bug bite on the side of my foot and my shoes were rubbing, so I'm in flip flops. But I told Riley we were gonna laugh about this someday when hopefully we have a house. get this compacted and bring some base in because the dust is dusty. In my mouth. Dust, dust, and more dust. But now we have water. Not a lot of water. <laughs> Might be enough to cut off down the dust. We just greased the drive gear that swings the excavator around and around. So she's distributing the grease amongst all the teeth. We are getting close to our final grade. Our plan is to cut a little more out of the hill on this side and put it on the downhill side until we get a level pad. We're trying to minimize the amount of filling that we do so that when we build our post train building, the piers that we pour are actually sitting on virgin ground at the bottom. So we don't want to fill any more than about two feet on the downhill side. I think we might try to switch to the grading bucket. We've never tried that one and keep cutting uphill and putting it downhill. So basically the idea I think is that the grading bucket allows us to take a more controlled depth of cut with our scoop because now rather than scooping as much as we can, we're trying to only take about eight inches off of this level. So far it's working great. We are a little bit worried about rocks damaging it. It's definitely not as strong as our digging bucket, but uh, yeah, Courtney's doing a good job.
our pad is within about three inches of being level, uh, but we haven't compacted it all yet. So the plan is we're gonna fill the dump truck with some of the heavy rock and stuff from the back that's still in the way to weigh the dump truck down. And then we're gonna just wheel roll this thing back and forth with the truck while Courtney sprays water on it and hopefully get it nice and compact. We're gonna try to take advantage of the soil already being pretty wet from digging it on our fill side. And we're gonna add some more water and Riley's gonna drive back and forth with the army truck to kind of wheel roll it and help compact it. I think in a perfect world, in a perfect world, we'd be getting like a sheep's foot compactor up here. But uh, we're in a semi-perfect world. Beautiful evening here on 4th of July. Courtney and I are celebrating right now with uh, some burgers, and then later we're gonna meet some friends down at the docks and watch the fireworks. There are a lot of fireworks on that barge. I'm getting excited. You guys have been asking and we realized we have not shared the name of our dump truck with you. So after all of your submissions, which we had a lot of fun reading, we have decided. The name of this truck is Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> it seemed quite fitting for a lot of reasons and so I'm gonna need to make a sticker for her, but her name is Humpty Dumpty. It's a she? Yeah, she gets it done. <laughs> after a couple of weeks of working with the dump truck and the excavator we finally have our building pad fully graded it was a really fun experience to learn a new skill and really put the excavator to the test i can't believe we have a level spot now over the past few weeks we've been really blown away with how much our channel is growing thank you guys so much for liking subscribing becoming a patron it really is so much fun sharing this process with you guys and to be quite honest we couldn't be doing this without you Thank you, thank you for the support of this channel and we cannot wait to see what the next year or two looks like for this project. We are currently finalizing the first phase of the shop apartment. So you're gonna wanna make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned because we're gonna be sharing that information with you in our next episode. I gotta get the driveway ready for the gravel truck. Oh, oh. oh. don't put that at me. The boat the bug was on your face. <laughs>